Welcome back to the Base Blaster Audio Tech YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to be making a new uh, dim bulb tester to replace my old one. Just because my old one's kind of ratty and it was never really finished. So uh, I'm going to make a new one. And it's all going to go in here. So what I got here is I have a faceplate. Whatever this thing's called. We got one of these sockets that you put a bulb in and stick it into a plug. Of course, our plug, a couple fork terminals, and the mounting hardware. Now, we're going to need a switch, and I'm going to steal the switch off of my old bulb tester. Give me a second, I'll show you this one. So, this was another one of many projects that I made but never finished. I got to the point where it worked, and then I forgot about it. Yeah, it's on a big piece of wood that was never cut. But it does work. But uh, this is not ideal for obvious reasons. What this is, you got your AC plug here, your light, switch, and then one of these uh, plug sockets, which was way expensive. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna pull the light switch off and save it. Everything else will also be saved, but it's not gonna be used for this. Do our wire. Oh, I'm going to have to pull the power cord off of this guy, too. Look at this. This is an exposed wire. This is actually the live. I uh, put the ball in the wrong uh, phase. Wow, these screws are in there tight. Nah, forget that. I'm going to be lazy. Neither of these screws were in straight. I used a real fine thread to go into wood. Okay. This is actually a real nice lamp thing. I don't know what I could use that for, but definitely keep it. This white power cord, this white wire actually came from my old fan in my room. Right, let's get this disaster out of here and start on this. So the idea of this is it's compact. So we have one outlet which is going to be our in and out. So on our plug, you'll see in these science terminals there's a bridge on each side. Notice we're going to break this bridge. Now these are intentional. You're supposed to be able to break these so you can run on like different breakers if you want to. How it's going to work is our live is going to come in here. It's going to go across our bulb, right, we're going to leave this side intact, then from the bulb it's going to come through, our live will be on the live piece, test quit will come back out, come out here to the neutral, and onto the wall. So all we're doing is, instead of these plugs being in parallel, we're putting them in series. That's it. Let's see if I can get this bridge broke. I guess just grab a pair of pliers and try to bend it. Well, that ain't hardly working, but I think this is made out of brass, so actually. And there we go. Our link is now broken. Throw this in the trash where it gets forgotten about. Alright, so now we're going to mess with our cord. Um, I'm going to restrip these. So now we need to get our small end of the plug, which is on the left. And we're going to follow this cord so where it's straight. So this here, this will also be our live. But actually that doesn't matter quite yet, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it real fancy. I'm going to put some uh, terminals on the wire. I might even solder the wires down too. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Get the iron turned on. What? 
it. I just broke the plastic. It's not even a contact back there. That kind of defeated the purpose of this thing. One trip to the garage and another fork terminal later. So that one away. So this, so this is our live wire. crimp terminals being that di that difficult in all fairness I do think this wire is a bit small for blue so, all right that's enough of that where my okay, here it is I'll solder that on too now for this side which will be our Neutral. Jesus Christ. And repeat with this, or that side on. Once you get the actual fork itself warmed up, it takes solder really well. I've soldered enough of these doing car audio jobs that I should know, right? Okay, so how do I want this? Doesn't matter. It does matter. Okay, so I think I'll break this one out and have our wire go into it. I believe they just kind of fold back, don't they? Do they fold back or do they break? That is the question. It folds back. Alright. So we're gonna feed this through. Right, so now I gotta do the switch. Oh damn, I'm a stupid ass. I'm gonna need another fork terminal. I'm gonna need like two more fork terminals. I'll get to that in a second, whatever. I keep losing track of which wire is my hot wire. I'm just gonna continuity continuity test it. That's that one. So this is the one that'll go to the switch. That is almost a perfect fit. Nope, stay in there. It looks professional. Another trip to the garage and these are the last of my blue fork terminals later. Uh, I'm gonna need some straight wire. I got some stranded 18 gauge to connect the out of the outlet to uh, our first input on our switch or our socket. I got that backwards. All right, I don't figure I'll need more about what three inches worth. Does work. Same thing. I'll strip this. Shove it in a, in a fork terminal. Jesus Christ. that end. Let's grab the other. The heat remelted the plastic. It doesn't even look like it was even so even uh, crimped. 
Same rinse and repeat again. Okay, that link's done. Looking good. Pull some extra wire through here. Right, so here's the side of the outlet we broke. Remember we want them in series, so we'll stick this one right there. Actually, hold on. Make it easier. I'm going to go ahead and tighten these two screws down since we're leaving this uh, link in uh, intact. Shorten these down so they won't be an issue anywhere. I'm noticing the screws are two different colors on the side of this. And then our neutral, there, tighten this earth down because it's not being used. I'm also going to take this little metal square off this. I'm going to completely remove that for now. Almost like this thing was made for these fork terminals. Actually, truth be, told, truth be told, you're probably supposed to use them anyway, but I ain't seen many houses that use them. Not too bad at all, I don't think. I'm going to have to break off these little uh, ear thingies. It should be the same as before, just grab it and bend it. Which is old as shit. Well, this one don't want to bust off. Whatever should be good enough. Wow, this little tablet refused to break off in the way. I wonder if I can maybe uh Well, that just shot off into outer space. All right. True these screws. I'm probably have to. I might be lazy and just whip the drill out for these. Ah, oh, my arm. I'm not going to fully tighten it because i got to make sure the uh, face sets on it straight. I'm also noticing the switch is not the same color. It's kind of a cream where the outlet is uh, just straight white. That's not going to look out of place at all. Solves that issue. Get them lined up best we can. Good enough. Our switch needs to come over a bit. Good enough. Not perfectly straight, but whatever. Screw our face down. 
I'm going to have to break the face as I've done before. Wait. Ooh. Ooh. And there you go. Should be done. Let's give a little test. Let's see here. Let's uh, plug it in and see if it explodes. Alright, it explodes. I need something I can plug in to test it. Hmm. This should be good. Good old Sherwood AV receiver, the one I did in the uh, repair series, the 5030R. Actually, let me uh, flip you around. All right. Let's just test it, make it turn the switch on. Does nothing. Let me grab a light bulb. Harder and harder to find, 100 watt incandescent. Okay. Hit the power switch on the Sherwood. Ah. There we go. It's on. Back down. Kill switch. All right. I think that calls this project complete. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.